It's just that sometimes I see people getting nails that are literally this long. And I'm like, girl, stop. Please, please, please stop. Because those nails, they literally look like claws. Like, <laughs> and welcome back to my channel i hope you're having an amazing morning evening day or night whenever and wherever you're watching this video if you're a returning subscriber thank you so 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 much for coming back to my channel and if you're not subscribed to this channel yet what are you doing go and smash that subscribe button right now give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below also please don't forget to go follow me on instagram at hey it's underscore nelsa a i just hit a thousand followers on that platform so i'm actually really 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 happy about that guys ah thank you also make sure to press that bell button to make sure in fact every single time a girl drops a new banger so today's video is in collaboration with ashley sarah ashley sarah's content is amazing she does a bunch of lifestyle content she does productive content and her content has the best aesthetic ever every single time i watch a video i'm like mm, so aesthetically pleasing so go check her out go show her some so, love so as you guys can see by the title of today's video I'm going to be talking about unpopular opinions. And if you check out Ashley Sarah's video too, she will also be talking about her unpopular opinions. So as usual, I got my handy dandy notebook here filled with all my opinions. So the very first unpopular opinion that I have is that Zen is more fun than TikTok. If you don't know what Zen is, Zen is this app that came out this year, 2020, and it was originally an app where um, teenagers could go and watch videos and make money off of watching those videos. But recently, Zen created a new update to the app. They took out the feature where you can earn money, so I'm not quite sure what they're going to be doing now on the app. But I personally find that the videos on there are more fun than the videos on TikTok, simply because on Zen, there's a bigger variety of Thanks. Now, the second unpopular opinion that I have, some of you may come at me for this, but I personally believe that Subway is way better than Pop Belly. Yes, we are going into the food right now. I love Subway. I've loved Subway forever. I don't care how many times I go to Pop Belly, their food is good too, but it can never, ever, ever, ever beat Subway. And that's on my next unpopular opinion is that online school sucks. I know some people actually like online school, but I hate it, okay? Um, I did online school when the schools shut down because of coronavirus. I didn't like that there wasn't a teacher there to help me and that I had to do it all on my own. So I'm actually really happy that my school is doing a hybrid model. So we're going to be doing virtual school, but we're going to be in the physical school building two to three days a week, which I really like. My next unpopular opinion is that cancel culture needs to stop. If you don't know what cancel culture is, let me explain it to you. It's when someone pretty much looks at a celebrity who's done something wrong and says that they're canceled, we don't support them anymore, or anything like that. The reason why I think cancel culture needs to stop is because it causes a very, 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 very toxic environment. You know, I always keep in mind that celebrities are actual people they have feelings and they're probably gonna hurt everyone makes mistakes and i think that celebrities should learn from their mistakes and we should move on with our lives instead of talking bad about them gossiping about them on the news my next unpopular opinion is that people need to stop wearing long eyelashes i know people love their lashes and all but i'm really going scrolling on instagram looking at people's makeup tutorials and i see people with eyelashes this long, this gigantic, and they look like little spider legs. I don't know if that's just me or if anyone can relate. The next thing that I want to say is that hydro flasks are overrated. Ever since the Visco Girl trend came around, everyone wants a hydro flask. If you don't know what hydro flask is, it's this type of water bottle. Like all the basic people at my school with hydro flasks. It's annoying. It's not the only water bottle around. Go show some love to some other brands who make better quality water bottles. This next one I stand by completely. And that is that the only good skincare hair and hair products are the natural ones and that is on point blank period poo you can't tell me no different if you saw one of my recent videos i did um a collaboration 
a sponsored video with Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Go check it out. And I was talking about how to get rid of your pimples and hyperpigmentation. And as you can see, honey, my skin is popping and glowing because those dark spots are going away. But that's not the point. What I'm saying is that natural products are the best products. If you use products, you want to make sure they don't have sulfates or parabens or any of those nasty chemicals. Because at the end of the day, they strip your hair, they strip your skin. It just mess up your face. For this unpopular opinion, you can disagree with me or you can agree with me. But my personal opinion is that our president is, tra is trash. If you live in the United States of America, then, you know, our president is Donald Trump. I don't like our president. If you like our president, good for you. That that's all I'm going to say. Now, for those of you who love fake nails like acrylics, I love acrylics too. I don't have any on right now. But I love them. It's just that sometimes I see people getting nails that are literally this long. And I'm like, girl, stop. Please, please, please stop. Because those nails, they literally look like claws. Like, <laughs> My next unpopular opinion is that the N-word should not be in songs. I know that in our society today, it is okay for black people to say the N-word in rap songs and all that good stuff. However, the one reason why I want rappers to stop saying the N-word is songs is because I've noticed that a lot of non-black people, like white people, for example, who end up listening to those rap songs, later start going around and saying the N-word too, even though they're not black. I was saying, even for black people, I don't necessarily think that we should be saying the N-word. Because if you said the N-word to someone back then, like a hundred years ago, that would not be a compliment. That would be an insult. And singing it in our songs today still doesn't change the meaning, the racist meaning behind that word. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So this next one I want to say is that Zoom meetings are the worst. I hate Zoom meetings. The reason why I hate Zoom meetings so much is because I feel like they're just so awkward. They're so, so, so awkward. It doesn't make me feel comfortable at all. Here comes the tea, sis. Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson are toxic. If you guys don't know, the beauty community on YouTube has had so much trauma in like the past two years. I remember last year there was the whole thing with James Charles. To be honest, at this point, I'm done with the entire YouTube beauty community and the makeup community. There's just too much drama, too much lies too much manipulation for me i think that the whole beauty community just needs to get themselves together at the end of the day they should all be supporting one another they're on the same platform they're doing the same things they have the same passions and the same goals it's better to work together than to just bring each other down and to just fight all the time so please Adding on to what I just said, I want to mention that sometimes social media can foster toxic environments. I did not say it always fosters toxic environments. I said social media can foster toxic environments sometimes. When you put yourself out there in social media, sometimes not everyone's going to be nice. Some people are going to show you hate. And for example, when I look at Jojo Siwa, she is 17 years old, but she gets so much hate from like millions of people. And I applaud her fan base for always like defending her. I think people just need to stop hating each other on social media, show each other some love. And if you have nothing good to say, then just shut up, walk away, put your phone away. Like, come on now. You have really have nothing better to do than to pick up your phone and just write something negative about someone who's never done anything to you, who is just living their best lives. The last and final thing that I want to say, well, my last final popular opinion, is that Converse's are the most basic shoe ever. And I'm kind of hypocritical saying this, especially since I have a pair of Converse in my house. I can literally go and pick it up right now. Like, look at my Converse. These are my Converse. Yes, my Converse All-Stars. So yes, I do have Converse. But the reason why I'm saying that they're the most basic shoe ever is because literally everyone I know has a pair of Converse. And if not everyone, most people I know have Converses in their home. It's like everyone just has them. It's like a fashion staple. And that's what's starting to make it so basic. Okay, cookies. So that was it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to tell me in the comment section down below which of these unpopular opinions you agreed with, which ones of these you didn't agree with make sure to go check out ashley sarah's channel because this is a collaboration with her show her some love tell her that nalsa sent you don't forget to go follow me on instagram at hey it's underscore nalsa and oh i almost forgot to mention this but make sure to go check out my new natural hair page that i started 
on Instagram. It's called natural hair underscore Nelsa. And if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, what are you doing? Go and smash the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye, cookies.